Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to install SPN server and Tortoise client. To do this, go to your browser, just type visual, visual SPN server, SPN server here and in very first result you can see visual server, go to download section, click on 64 bit as my system is 64 bit so i am downloading 64 bit setup see here it is downloaded now let us install click on this setup run click on next accept agreement next use or select standard edition give your local path here you can give any path of your any drive see i am giving d drive for repositories and a port my port 443 is free so i am giving 443 click on next and install it seems like it will take some time so i will get back to you after this installation As you can see, installation is complete. Click on finish. Go to your start menu. Click on Visual SVN Server. We will open the environment for SVN Server. See, this is environment for our SVN Server. Here we can create new user, new group, new repository. So, in order to create new repository, click on repository, create new repository. Next, FS, FS stands for uh, file system, adopt file system, means it is full, fully functional and suitable for almost every usage of model. So, select this, click on next, give any name, suppose then, test, rep, click on next, click next. your test repository is now created I'm creating one user for this repository set your password the user is created now and we need to give access to user so go to properties and you can add here yes. now we have newly created this user test repo user click on this and click ok now this test repo user can access our test repository you can reset your password here Let me add this. Click on plan. Okay. So now user is added to this whole test repo. Now we need to install our client that is tortoise SVN. Type tortoise. See in very first result you can download your tortoise. Select your system. Mine is a See we have downloaded this setup for Tortoise client, click on it, that setup. So, in order to install it, uh, click on next, next, click on next, and install. It 
it is installing installation is completed now create one folder check out and dot dot is installed you can see here the options are available to import from our repository we need to check out first see and for this we need url of our svn virtual server see here go to this repository right click on it and See in this option will give you the URL. Click on it. Click on it. Go to this and paste it. See this one is our URL for our repository. Click OK. And as you remember, we have created one user here, and we need to give that. user credential so we can access that request here i am writing the password okay see we got our latest source from repository now in order to commit your changes just put your changes in this folder for the time i have this file to commit now go to the, the folder click right and see here this when commit just click on this commit button select this and okay so your changes is committed to your repository let us see whether it is in that repository or not go to go to your virtual server environment click on repository click on test repository it is our repository see here we committed changes is here in our repository 